Hello Gophers and welcome back to part 4 of our series where we are building web APIs using Gen Framework. In this video, we will be talking about how to bind data that you receive from your request, whether through query string, whether through your JSON in your body or through your URI. So before we move forward, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And also press the bell icon so that you don't miss on any new videos or tutorials that we put forward. So topics that we are going to cover in this video are how to bind data that we receive from query string like we get data in our get request. How to bind data that we receive from the body in the format of JSON. How do we bind data that we receive from the URI? And how do we bind data that we receive both through URI and in JSON in the same request? So now let's start by understanding how we can bind the data that we receive from a query string. So for us, I have created a model in which I have three basic parameters that I would be expecting from a URI or from the query string are like ID, name and email. And these are belonging to a same model that is a user struct. So Let's say I have created an API which has endpoint say slash n and our API would be running on localhost port 8080. Now I want to get the data from the query string. So with gin context, in context we do have a method that is called should bind query and this should, should bind query would be expecting an interface. But this interface is nothing but a reference to the exact object that you want the data to be binded to. Now, this object should have certain fields that it should mention before you use this function. So that fields are the form field. So you, you would mention that this should, this ID should be binded in form uh, from the form field by the name of ID. So your query string parameter name should be uh, ID all in small and then it would bind the data that is received from the query parameter ID to this variable and similarly for the other two parameters as well. Now one thing that you need to note over here is you cannot create this name of your inside parameters or the struct parameters with small letters uh, because uh, gen, would, uh, gen framework would not be able to bind or access those parameters so so you need to take extra uh, carefulness or you should be extra careful when creating a model that you would be binding using the context functions so let's run this code and see how our user model is bind it and we get the data from the query string. So let's run this code run. So now our API is running. I have already created a request for us and this request is localhost port 8080 user, the API endpoint and the parameters are ID, name and email and I've supplied some value. One thing more I have done is in the request response, I have also set the data back so that we can check in our response as well that if the data interpretation was successful or not. So let's run this and see. So if you see, I have sent ID as one and I have got that in the data. So if you see ID, name and email there as it is, I have received them. Let's say I pass ID as 11. So I received ID as 11 also. So this is how you bind data from the query string, so you should use the function should bind query and you'll supply the pointer reference to exact object that you want to. And the object that you create, its struct should have the form and the query parameter name in it so that it uh, gen framework knows that. Now let's jump into how we bind data from the body of a post or put request. So now to bind data that we receive in the body as in format of JSON, we would use should bind JSON function. And second thing that we need to modify is we need to change the form to JSON. And now it knows that from JSON property name ID, I should bind the value to this uh, property of my struct. So let's run this function, uh, run this code and see if it runs and gives us the required output or not. 
and this is a ports request so yes the code is running and i would have created a post request where in the json format json uh, body i have sent the id name and email id for us and let's send this request and see so if you see i have received the the body as it is over here and also i have printed this uh, on our console so you can see the data being printed from this part so this should bind json is the function that helps you bind the data that you receive in uh, the requ request json format so in the request body when you receive data in json so you would use this function now let's see how do we bind data from the uri so now again we have two small changes that we have done one is we have converted this uh, uri endpoint to the uh, to the data that we want to map so it contains all the all the key field names that we would be binding I've converted it to put request. Then the second major change is that instead of using the JSON tag, I have used URI tag so that now a gen framework knows that it would require to map the ID from your URI. So URI, it should always mention the same name over here in the struct as well and in the URI as well so that it maps both the feed. And then the function that we need to use is should bind URI. Now let's see how this function works and if it gives us the required result or not. So our API is running and I've already created a request which is like following ID, name and then email address in the URL. And let's see, and our body is definitely blank. If you see, I have got the data from the URL and bind it to this object and i have also printed the object for us in the console so that we know if things are working fine for us so this is how you can bind uri as well now let's take an example where you receive some data in your put request in your uri and also some data of your same model in the body of your request so how do you bind both the things uh, in the same model so that let's check out that part so again there are few changes that we have done that is the now uri that we want is only containing the id and then everything else apart from the id we would receive in the request body in format uh, json format so what i have done in model is i have mentioned uri tag only for id and for other parameters i have mentioned the json tag as it is now whenever our request is received and we are into the handler function so over here i create one object for user and i call the should bind uri on the same object so i would call it on the same object again after we successfully pass the uri binding and i call the should bind json function on the same object that we used in the should bind uri so what it will do is it will first bind the data from the uri and put that into the object and then it would do the json binding of the request body on the same object so let's run this code and see the output so for output i have also done one thing that uh, whenever the uri binding is complete i've printed the object and for json binding also i've printed the object so that we know step by step output so i've created this request for us and uh, i'll just send this request where id is in uri and rest two parameters are in body so if you see over here user object uri binding it only contained the id field and user object I am sorry for the spelling, but uh, you can totally ignore it. So from the JSON binding, it it said that ID was 11 from the earlier data, and now it has binded the name and email. So this is how you can bind uh, multiple type of uh, binding, use multiple type of binding in the same request, and do whatever you want to do. There are scenarios where you wish to get some query parameters as well in the put request or your post request. So you can also use should bind query function to bind those data and do it. 
and apart from that you can also have same uh, you can have multiple tags on the same same property so you can have like JSON and mention as ID as JSON so in case if you do this and you miss you miss out on thing like uh, it does not come in this URL or it is only in the body then also it would map but URL is right now mandatory because yes you, you don't have a URL which is without the ID so it would give an error that URL is not found so yeah that's one thing that you can do you can actually have multiple type of binding or you can actually use this model for n number of uh, requests so you may have request like user uh, put request or post request and in put request you might have id in parameter uh, in your url and in post request you may have that from the body as well so you can have both the uh, tags or all the three tags on the same property that's completely fine so this is all about how to bind data from your query parameters or your request uri or anything from your request and you can play around with it Thank you for watching the video. Please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also press the bell icon so that you don't miss on any new notifications. Also do comment us below on any feedbacks or any new tutorials that you want us to do.